welcome to this overview of iCloud Drive or update of iCloud Drive and how to get the best from iCloud Drive. Currently I'm on OS X 10.10.2 um, Yosemite so this is the, um, the, the sort of latest version of OS X also. So if you're not on the latest version of OS X 10.10.2 then please don't take this um, take this tutorial or this overview as is going to work on your machine. So iCloud Drive, obviously with the introduction of iCloud and the iCloud repricing packages, a lot of people have taken the opportunity to take up the use of iCloud Drive and it really is fantastic, um, fantastic you know, piece of kit and, and it is the way forward. Cloud-based collaborative working really is the way forward in any IT environment and it's pointless Whatever's gone on beyond you has happened beyond you. Be aware of what's happening beyond you, but always look forward and, and sort of cloud-based computing or macking, as you want, as you may want to put it, is um, is definitely the way forward. So, if you haven't, I've just got a new um, Finder window here in my screen. So I've just gone File and New Finder window like so, and I've got this Finder window popped up. And on the left hand side you have your favourite devices shared, you can also have tags and there's various ways that you can show what is on this left hand side toolbar. And the easiest way to do this is go to your Apple sign on the top left hand corner of your toolbar and um, sorry go to your, your finder sign on the top left hand corner of your toolbar and then go preferences and then in the sidebar of those preferences you can choose which files and folders to view. If your iCloud Drive isn't showing, then just select it and ensure it's checked right here in this favorites bar at the top. And we'll close that and just to obviously highlight any other sort of favorites bars that you want or, or disks that you want to display. Okay, so then we're gonna go from um, up to iCloud Drive. Now, dependent on what you've already saved in your drive, if you have or haven't as accessed anything on your drive, will be, depend on what folders are shown here. The two folders that you see at the end of mine, just Lean Six Sigma and PDF, um, are very simply just folders that I've created, um, sort of aftermarket folders if you want. And all you do, have a simply right click, or go to the action, new folder, create yourself a new folder, and then that new folder will be available across your um, all of your Mac devices. Likewise, when you're gonna delete something from the iCloud, you'll get this pop-up um, appear. And it says, are you sure you want to delete untitled folder from the iCloud? This will move to the trash on this Mac and delete it from the iCloud drive for all your other iCloud devices. So just be aware of that. Collaborative working, whether it be with somebody else or alone, means collaborative working so what it means is is that you are making changes to a document or image or whatever it is or a folder whatever it is you're making changes to it's going to affect your experience across all of your devices that have access to that drive that iCloud drive and that's all it is it's a, an exter external media that um, that that is it lives in the sky shall we say Okay, so now let's get on. You see I've got a Pixelmator um, folder right here and that's a third party folder. So any applications um, that support sort of iCloud sharing will also get their own folder within the iCloud drive once you save something for the first time. So um, so let's just go, go ahead and double click. The way I've got it here, I've got my arrange in, in my, in my um, arrange tab right here. You can change it to name. I've got mine. Um, arranged by kind just so my folders are separate from my um, single documents. So let's go into this iPhone backgrounds and let's take this iPhone iPhone 6 blank um, template for instance. Now let's say I want to create a document and I want to save it in my iCloud Drive so it's available across all of my platforms. So the way I can simply do this is go into, um, let's go file and let's go duplicates or shift command S, which also copies or duplicates the, the, the sort of active window that you've got. So now we've got a, 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 an iPhone 6 blank copy. Now if I just go back to my iCloud drive for a second, you'll see I've already got this blank copy syncing right here. 
Now, one of the good things with the latest software update is once this synced, by the way, that's when it will be available across your um, platforms. Now, one of the things that's good with this latest update is that you can go right to the toolbar at the top and you can rename stuff right here. So I don't want this called iPhone 6 blank copy anymore. I want it to be called iPhone 6 red and we'll change the color of it to red um, shortly. Um, now, one of the other things you noticed is, is you could tag it right here or you could also choose where to save it from here. Now one of the things with the drive, let's say for instance you've got the drive selected like this. So you've got your iCloud drive folder selected right here, which is this folder right here. See my iPhone 6 red is syncing in within that folder as we speak. So I don't want to save it in my iCloud drive folder, I want to save it somewhere else. Within that iCloud fold folder, iCloud drive folder, just below that will be the other available place within your cloud that you could possibly save it. It's a pixelmated um, image or, or template, so it, it quite rightly recognizes that you can save it in Pixelmator. It's pointless saving it in pages because it's not a pages document. You need to save it in Pixelmator. So it gives me the option to save it in Pixelmator. I then have to select that Pixelmator, and if I want to go a step further within that Pixelmator, I can't, you notice? I can't go to my iPhone backgrounds within my Pixelmator. It hasn't given me that option to do so. It doesn't matter how I try. It doesn't give me the option to save it into my iPhone Pixelmator um, backgrounds. So I could go to other and then select from, I get this pop-up box, go to my iCloud drive, then go to Pixelmator, then go to iPhone backgrounds, select it and select move. Now you will notice it has moved from my front view right here, go into Pixelmator, put it back into my backgrounds and it will be saving right here, iPhone 6 red. Okay, so now we, um, we're gonna make a quick change and we're just gonna color it red and black like so and then we're gonna close it down and then we're gonna close Pixelmator down also. And you'll notice my iPhone 6 red goes from waiting because we're closing it down to syncing. As soon as this little toolbar here is full and we've synced across our system, it will then be available on all of my platforms or all of my devices. If those devices have indeed got the application in question. So Pixelmator, obviously you can get it on iPad now. These documents will be available on your iPad. Um, or your iPad mini, um, likewise on your iMac, or your MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, whatever it is that you've got. Um, pages documents, if you've got pages on your phone, it will be readily available on your phone. And I've taken the opportunity to use that quite, I, I use pages and numbers to check spreadsheets and documents at work quite often across the cloud. So this is the cloud based computing it's the way ahead it's really really simple once you get your head around it apple seem to have got rid of most of the glitches now sometimes you have trouble syncing across all of your devices so sometimes it doesn't sync correctly from one device to the next so what you normally have to do is go either into the device that you um, that you created that document on remove it from the cloud and place it back in the cloud it's a good workaround or likewise, you can go to iCloud.com. It's in its beta phase at the moment. Um, iCloud.com and then sort your problem out um, on at, from the source um, live online. I will do an iCloud.com sort of um, um, introduction at a later date anyway, if people want to see that anyway. So um, I hope this um, gives you a little bit of information that you didn't know. And um, yeah, start using Cloud. It's awesome. Thank you so much.